A huge Trello board announcement from the team that's bringing you the giant spider and, of course, other stuff to an incredible fantasy creature and a whole lot more. Today, we're going through more mod news for Path of Titans because it's just getting more and more exciting as time goes on. Of course, if you are new, feel free to subscribe, but let's just get to it. A new Mega Pharapod is coming to the game. This is being made by the Archaic Eons team and this is Syaps. This is actually one of my favourite Pharapod dinosaurs, a large carnivore from America. Not as big of course as the giant Tyrannosaurus but it's something that is quite remarkable with its size. Although it's not sure what it is actually. It's currently got a couple controversial placements because it could be a Neovenatorid, Allosauroid, or a Ceolosaur, or even a Tyrannosauroid, or even a Megaraptor or Carcharodontosaurid. There is so many things that this could be. However, of course, yes, once again, this is made by the Archaic Eons team. It looks fantastic. The model looks really nice. We get to see some subspecies for it with the default one, the Megaraptoran one, and the Carcharodontosaurid on a solid one as well. This is nice as it fills in all the gaps of what it could be as well in terms of the placements that could be quite controversial. Additionally we get to see its size compared to an aloe and a rex as well. Basically it's in between those sizes and for both of them it fits nicely in between the size of an aloe and rex. Could be more of a pseudo apex rather than what allosaurus is with a high mid tier. This could be better than aloe but worse than rex being a nice comfortable placement between them especially if they get the stats right for this dinosaur it could be very good and on a final note we also get the idle animation as well just a 20 second idle animation it looks really good overall it fits the bill for this dinosaur and yeah i gotta say i really really like the model for this it looks great fantastic work from the archaic eons folks can't wait to see more of this one a very nice model a very nice creature and one of my favorite dinosaurs to be coming to the game. Very excited for this. The Primordial Tyrants team are working hard. Their Rex is bundling down in development, barreling down in development. They're literally, this mod sparked a debate between the Path of Time's official Rex and this mod. And now I'm adding a bit more fuel to the fire. Firstly, I do want to say that this mod is now getting close to halfway through its development cycle. As of recording this, it's at 21 out of 43 tasks complete. Knowing the Primordial Tyrants team, when I edit this, it could be even higher higher but firstly we get to see the juvenile model and animation for the rex it looks fantastic this actually looks like a juvenile rex with this long snout the beady eyes the very slender build completely different looking to the official rex for path of titans i love this a ton a very nice model overall i like it it actually looks like a young rex very much like saurian's rex when it was a baby as well but of course once again we have some skins to showcase as well we've got the tigris skin the ardent skin the june skin and the ringed skin so many skins there a lot to offer from this mod very excited for this one let me know what you think about this rex in the comments down below I'm adding a bit more fuel to the fire for the debate here but yeah it looks really nice let me know your thoughts in my last mod spotlight video, I covered a mod that's upcoming called Dinosauria and they're bringing Diplodocus to the game. But today, we're talking about the other sauropod that they're bringing to the game and that's Chimerasaurus. Now, of course, these are two mods that are being made by the Dinosauria team. If you want to know more about Diplodocus, I recommend you check out my previous mod spotlight video that's on the screen now. However, I do want to say Chimerasaurus isn't as fine development. We only have a couple shots from it, the sculpt of the head, and then another more progress shot of the neck as well, with a bit more detail on both of them uh, compared to the previous headshot. Now, of course, yeah, once again, this isn't as much progress as what Diplodocus has, but it looks really nice. And I'm assuming from what I've been told, this mod is going to bring a fair few creatures to the game, or this modding team, Dinosauria, are planning to bring a fair few creatures to the game, but these will be in batches. The first batch will be a batch 
stretch of four, which I'm assuming will hold Diplodocus, Chimerasaurus, and some other stuff as well. Very excited for this. I'm more excited for the Diplodocus because it's a lot closer to and further along in its development. But let me know what you think about Chimerasaurus, another big sauropod for you to feast your eyes upon. <laughs> The creator of the Goyagor and the Madrahorn is now focusing on his next creation, the Moraquil, which I believe means Death Eagle. This is something that will be the size of a Rex and will be able to fly as well. Something that is going to be absolutely badass and it looks like it's going to be the next thing that the creator, Doc J, is working on. My only concern with something this big that can fly and will probably have the power of the Rex is balance. How are you meant to balance something like this? However, we do get to see the model the model looks absolutely badass we also have it posed in like an eagle pose the way it's kind of going for a rex it just shows a scale of the size poor rex it's gonna die a horrible death there this will be the apex killer this will be the true apex of the skies but yeah once again it does beg to question that worry about balance anyways yeah this is a giant eagle with big sprawling wings fluffy fuzz feathers eagle talons and a whole lot more and of course it's got a lot of animations so far to showcase for it as well firstly we have the idle animation which looks really nice it features a little look around as well then we have what looks like a fast walking this could be the land sprint i'm not too sure it looks great i love how it kind of replicates how eagles carry feathers when they run uh, or their wings when they run to avoid touching the ground and getting damaged i really like that it's really nice now we have what looks like the actual walk but it could also be the z walk as well as the z walk i'm not too sure what it could be but yeah it's a walk of some sort a lot slower than the previous one which could be a fast walk or a run it looks very nice of course and finally there's a hover and it looks absolutely incredible the wingspan on this creature is huge absolutely loving this so far it's going to be badass when it's released but yeah once again i do have a worry about the balance but regardless i can't wait to see this one in the game but speaking about stuff in the game let's talk about a trello board for the xr Giller team which was just announced so the xr Giller team is a team that is bringing a whole bunch to the game and well this is their trello board now what i'm going to do i'm going to move my webcam over here and we're just going to dive straight into it because we have a lot to talk about today and a lot to show Showcase. Firstly, we're going to talk about the Beringia stuff, which is being made by Rospaw. So let's talk about that. They recently released a Smilodon. And yeah, the next thing that they're working on is the Mammoth. And it looks like this one is very, very close to release. Because of course, the only thing that's left to be done is testing. After that, they have the Woolly Mammoth. Here's the picture of it, of course the woolly mammoth it's yet to get skins completed and it's still yet to go through testing and dev kit implementation which is obviously interesting and of course the thing after that this is what will be coming and starting development after the mammoth columbi and mammoth pre primigenus which is the woolly mammoth i said that really badly regardless this is the short-faced bear and yeah look at that it, this one has a model and it's already shown off quite a bit very excited for this one i believe it'll probably get a touch up because if we see here it'll, it'll probably get a touch up as time goes on that being said the next thing after that looks like it's gonna be the um uh i don't know what the name of this is the servalkis or the servalks i'm not too sure it's kind of like a moose deer thing which looks really cool a lot to be done here the only thing's completed as a model after that for this mod group we'll be getting the dire wolf the woolly rhino the cave hyena the horse i think this is the equius scotty i believe that is a horse of some type uh, the teratonis step bison ground sloth camelops and ovis nivicola and there's more never mind uh, the muskox the pacific white-sided dolphin the harbor seal and castoroids castoroids yeah castoroids i don't know what that is and then after that you've got the giant otter as well and that'll round up beringia as a whole then we've got lemuria which will have less creatures in it the one that we all know and love is the australovenator which is actually quite close to release it looks like the only thing they have is skins eating animations vocals calls and emotes and then for sounds to help generic idle hurt attack 
and then testing and dev kit implementation and then it's done i've just seen a mosquito flying to my room oh god um it's flying around my light uh, after that we have the big spider i know this is something that a lot of you are excited for but sadly it's got quite a long left to go nine out of 40 tasks complete there's a lot left to do after this for this mod for lemuria will we get lianonosaurus i always say that wrong diamantinosaurus which i believe is a sauropod morborosaurus and tarctopelter combarosaurus dinotoatus chronosaurus Fapungaka, Kulasukus, and Majungasaurus as well. And that's a bunch of cool stuff right there. The next thing is Neoprow, which was originally the main thing for this mod group, but I believe the author of this mod kind of just left the modding scene and it's now been passed on to the other people who've taken over this mod. Regardless, you'll be getting Protoxy Rhino, which is a big shark, and there's the model for it right there. After that, you'll be getting Elasmosaurus. There's the model for that right there. And then a big fish, Zephactinus, which is going to be absolutely interesting. This thing is going to be huge as well for fish standards. And then after that, we'll have Clydastes. And I believe there is a model for it out there somewhere. Then, of course, they'll have their own maps. Beringia, which I believe is a snow map. They have a little bit here. Beringia is a 4 by 4 kilometer survival map depicting the subarctic landmasses between Siberia and Alaska circa 20,000 years ago. So that's going to be really cool. After that is Lemuria, which I believe this is kind of like based off a mythical continent between Australia and Madagascar. So that's going to be really cool. And then after that, you've got Avernus, which I'm not sure what this is for. It looks like it's a one by one kilometer deathmatch battlefield map depicting an infernal place of ash and fire, which it is going be cool and then after that you've got neobra which is going to be the aquatic map of course that isn't the basics picture here but it's going to be based off of the western interior seaway there's going to be a four by four kilometer map there's a lot to be excited for here you've got sharks you've got dinosaurs you've got mammals you've got a map that's set 20,000 years ago you've got a mythical map that's set in between madagascar and australia and you've got a death match and an aquatic map as well a lot to be excited for from this team let me know what you think about all of this in the comments down below but of course it looks like the next things to be coming the closest things to be releasing for them is the Colombian mammoth and Australovenita so strap yourselves in for them but that's all of that from XR Giller. and of course everybody there's all the mod news for recently let me know your thoughts about all of this in the comments down below a lot of cool stuff here I really like the Mora Quill I also really like this upcoming stuff for the XR Giller team a lot of stuff seemed to be worked on now but yeah a cave bear that's going to be really cool anyways guys i hope you enjoyed if you are new feel free to subscribe i'll see you all in the next one have a great day peace